Good morning, y'all. Good morning from Sunlight Basin here just north of Cody, Wyoming, off of a really beautiful highway called Chief Joseph. I spent last night car camping with my dogs in the Land Cruiser, and it was just so good, you know? Last night, I yesterday I floated the river with some amazing friends, Carl and Elizabeth and family, and I just, I was having a lot of resistance to coming camping by myself, you know, like I wanted to come car camping and I kept, and I, my heart was telling me like, you need, you know, this is something you need to go do by yourself. Like, the, or this is something you desire to go do by yourself. I knew that in my heart. And yet that felt difficult to do. Like I felt resistance to that. I just wanted to invite someone else and really was resisting like being alone for, for this, for this experience. And, but you know, I went through that and I came and it was such an amazing night under the, under the waxing moon up here. It was so bright and it was so beautiful. And, um, one of the books that I brought with me was Louise Hay. Yes, you can heal your life. And I just wanted to share with you guys some of the affirmations from this, because what I feel like happened for me like what I feel this morning and what I feel like happened for me yesterday is I let go of a lot of resistance to, to a lot of things, you know, maybe I don't even, maybe I don't even know all of them, but, uh, one of the Louise Hayes affirmations that was really sticking with me from last night, um, is I am willing to change. I am willing to change and I am willing to let go of resistance. I might not even totally know what that is but I'm just willing, right? And this comes back to these conversations that we've had around willingness. And from the, from the book Power Versus Force, this brings up this idea of there's neutrality, there's neutrality of energy, and then the next positive place that you go up towards enlightenment, up towards love and acceptance is just willingness. And so I wanted to share, um, this is from chapter six of Louise Hay's You Can Heal Your Life. Okay, so... Resistance to change is chapter six. And the one of the affirmations is, I am in the rhythm and flow of ever-changing life. And the first subtitle is, awareness is the first step in healing or changing. So like I was saying, like yesterday, I just, I just noticed that awareness. Like I just noticed, I became aware of that resistance to wanting to go out and, and have some time in solitude in nature you know, which I do every day pretty much going on walks, but like spending a night out here alone, coming and doing this, coming and coming out here alone to become aware and to let go. And so I noticed that and I just came through it. And then when I was reading this book last night, I was like, wow, I didn't really even notice that as resistance at the time, you know? So this is the affirmation. So maybe just noticing this is the affirmation. Wait, actually, I'll share this with you guys too. Here are some nonverbal clues that you are um, resisting. And maybe you just become aware of these things, right? And that's the first step. And it's being really kind to yourself, but just becoming aware in a curious way of like, am I resisting something? Am I resisting my own divine destiny that's trying to come to me? Am I resisting my own truth? So here's some nonverbal clues that you're resisting. Our actions often show our resistance. For instance, changing the subject, leaving the room, going to the bathroom, being late, getting sick, procrastinating by doing something else, doing busy work, wasting time, looking away or out the window, flipping through a magazine, refusing to pay attention, eating, drinking, or smoking, creating or ending a relationship, creating breakdowns, cars, appliances, plumbing, etc. And I think for me yesterday, it was kind of like procrastinating or trying to do something else. Like, oh, I can, you know, I'll go, I'll do that by myself some other time, or I just don't need to do that or, or whatever. And it's like, but you can feel this tug on your heart. Why are you, why are you resisting that? And not again, just noticing it and maybe not even getting over the resistance, but first noticing like, wow, this is interesting. I have a lot of resistance to this. And so again, you guys, I would just recommend this book. I can't recommend it enough. Um, there's lots of YouTube videos. I'll, I'll link to a video of Louise Hay 
where it's basically a therapy session with her that was really a big part of my growth in Guatemala. And I will end with this affirmation by Louise Hay. And I'll just remind you guys, you know, I'll just remind you guys like <clears throat> at any point today, if you're feeling any kind of resistance, if you become aware and you just notice that and you're just noticing, you know, some of those weaker thoughts, some of that pull more so to, well, to depleting energy and constricting energy, some of that pull to cut yourself off from energy. Because I think that's like pretty much what resistance is, right? Instead of flowing with the infinite, limitless energy that's always coming to us, we're resisting it. So you can just say, I am willing to change. Just with that willingness, just with that little bit of willingness, as A Course in Miracles says, the Holy Spirit will come in and do the rest. Like, I don't even know what happened last night, you guys, but I know it was something beautiful. Like, I woke up knowing I let go of something. I let go of some resistance just by being willing to change. Just and, and that was really all I said. I was like, you know what? I'm willing to see. I'm willing to see what it is that I'm resisting. I'm willing. I'm willing to change. So here's this last affirmation for you guys, which I hope you, um, you know, maybe you play a couple times. Maybe you even play it and slow down this video and write it down in your notebook is something you can come back to. Or maybe you have this book and you can transcribe it. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. I see any resistance patterns within me only as something else to release. They have no power over me. I am the power in my world. I flow with the changes taking place in my life as best I can. I approve of myself and the way I am changing. Let's say that line again. I approve of myself and the way I am changing. I am doing the best I can. Each day gets easier. I rejoice that I am in the rhythm and flow of my ever-changing life. Today is a wonderful day. I choose to make it so. All is well in my world. And may all be well in you guys' worlds today and every day. And may you always, with love, be willing to change, willing to open, willing to grow, and yes, willing to be love. It just starts with that willingness. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon.